Hey guys, Lenny here. Just wanted to just do kind of a quick video. I know a while back one of the guys, uh, one of you guys asked me to do a video on how to make these uh, wing bags that I make and also kind of like wing covers. And so uh, I figured I'm getting ready to do one for my, uh, for my top flight P-51RF today, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. So what you're going to need are a few things here. Um, you're going to need a roll of this stuff. This is called Reflectix. And you can get it at uh, like your Ace Hardware. It's going to be in like your uh, your insulations sections. That's where you're going to find it. And uh, it's basically you know it's sort of like that stuff that your sunshades are made out of or whatever. But uh, this stuff is this stuff's really good and it's easy to work with. So you need a roll of this. And it's you know you might get a long roll too. Cause I'm, I'm just going to do the the elevators today. So I'm going to do the elevators in this part of the video. Then I'm going to do the wing later. But I'll show you guys that too. But uh, you know I mean obviously if you're doing a wing that's you know, 80 inches, you're going to need a, a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to start off with this. You'll need that. I like to use a, a big Sharpie, a black one. A pair of scissors. And some of this black Gorilla Tape. Um, this stuff is what I use. So that's what we'll start with. So I'll, uh, I'll get this all set up so you guys can see the, the process over here on the elevator, and then we'll uh, continue on. All right, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make the, and this is this is super easy. So I mean, it's, and they're they're pretty easy to make. They're pretty in, relatively inexpensive to make. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of measure out, just kind of roughly. I'm just gonna eyeball measure out how much of this stuff I need. So I'm just gonna sort of lay some over the top, get an idea of of my length, and then I'm gonna trim it up with the scissors. Get this turn so you guys can see the super exciting part of cutting the stuff with the scissors. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. So now we got our piece. Now this is a, it's a little too long, but we're gonna we're gonna trim that up too. But it's the right. The right length this way it goes around the elevator yeah, i'm going to make this a little bit big so it'll so it can kind of fit over the the elevator horn you can see that all right so that's this is actually going to be the, the right uh i gotta be careful i'm using this super stand for this just so i it lowered it down. i have another stand but it makes it too high for my camera and so this lowered it down so i'm just gonna be careful i don't go knocking this thing off here and, might have had to do a whole bunch of repair work. So this is this is gonna fit. So I'm just gonna line everything up back here, and now I'm just gonna look. And then you want to leave a little bit. Of, you want to leave a little space on the on the ends of this, so, so it'll easily come on and off. You don't want to make it too tight. You want to make it kind of kind of loose fitting. So, um, and then I'm gonna trim it off. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. I'm not even going to do a, I'm not even going to draw anything out. I'm just going to trim it across. Trim it right up, right across here. Okay. So we just trimmed it up. Now what you can do is you can kind of make these sort of, you know, they'll, it's got a little bit, of, this is my control rod on the, for the elevator is kind of poking out there, which is what's making this sort of, what I was thinking about doing was maybe trying to kind of trim this up along the back here, get a little angle, because that elevator has a, you know, it, well, the front of the wing actually has the angle, but front of the, horizontal stabilizer. I think this is about as good as I'm gonna be able to get that. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Now, I mean, this is where I'll take my Sharpie. I'm gonna kind of look down into the wing here and down onto the elevator. Horizontal stabilizer, I guess, if we're gonna you know, get really technical. Now I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Now 
And so you, if you can see, I drew that black line right here. It's just going to give me a little bit of an angle. So we'll see how that works. And then maybe just to give it a little bit better, a little bit better fit. So let's try it. I'm going to cut on the outside of the line, just so in case you know you can always take some off. This stuff, this reflect is, is a kind of expensive, so I like to when I cut this stuff, man. I try to make it. I try to try to utilize it the best I can because it's you know it's one of those things you. Just, it's not that expensive, but it's just kind of annoying to have always have to well, drop you know, 25 or so bucks on this stuff, but for something like this. And I think that's gonna work. I think that'll work. Now it doesn't fit like, as you can see, it, it doesn't fit like super up close here. It won't because, I'll, and I'll show you why. These things don't gotta be works of art. You just wanna have them so they so they just cover your wing. Keep it from getting. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Keep it from getting hanger rash like this, you know. So the reason why it was not going all the way there is because you can see it's bumping into this this elevator elevator horn. So but it'll go on there enough that it'll work. All right, I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so the next part we're just gonna. We got these edges all trimmed up, you know, cut. So the next thing we're, we're, we're going to do is we're going to apply the, the Gorilla Tape along the edges. Just along here and along here. And I think I'll do the end first. I'm not sure if it matters, but that's where I'm going to start. So get the tape out here. I'm gonna use my razor to cut this. I'm not gonna use the scissors. And I'm just laying the tape down across the end there. And it's not quite enough. I'm gonna make it a little bit. Put it, I'm gonna put it in there about halfway. I think that's where I want it. So. so here we go. So about halfway. I'll just put, tape it down there. Now I'm just going to flip it over, flip it back over. And then you just kind of. Now this this technique, you know, it, it's it's kind of the quick and dirty way to do this. You know, you can I'm sure, you know, I. You can go out and buy, you know, custom wing bags if you wanted to, and that's and that's perfectly fine. But I just want to, I want something that I can just make kind of quickly that that I could, you know, get on there and just kind of help me help me from all the hanger rash that I'm hat, you know, that I get that you get, you know, when you when you do this stuff. I'm trying to get this camera adjusted too. It's not quite low enough. There we go. So as you see, what I've done is I just kind of you just kind of squish it down. And then you kind of go over, sort of go over the end, and then just kind of, you can, right towards the end, there should be like a, just a little hair of tape kind of overlay there, and that just, you just kind of push that together. And you, you know, you watch this over the, you know, as you have this on there, you know, you'll, you'll see this as time goes by. This, this tape may kind of, may, you know, may kind of come up. You just, you just push it back down, and that's all, that's all there really is to it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scissors and trim off this tag end here. And I'm just going to leave that just a little hair on the end there, just so it's got some tape to kind of hold on to. And I'm going to do the same to this top one. 
It's going to trim it. That one I'm not going to leave any extra on because it's going to be because we're going to come back down this other side with the other piece of tape. So that's going to that's going to tape over that part, and then we'll we'll get that one. So that's what we'll do. More of this gorilla tape. That looks like it'll be enough. And then I'm going to put my tape down on there to kind of hold my setting the roll of tape on top of it to kind of kind of hold it down. And then we're going to set this uh, second part up here. You guys can see that. And then kind of put it, push it down, get it on there. And then, you know, as you see, we got it taped. It's got a little bit on there, so we're gonna just flip it over here to the other side. You know, applying some, applying some pressure to this part here, just to kind of, kind of help tighten it up a little bit. And then just bring it on over the top. And that's it. Same as we did in the last one. Let's move this back a little bit so you guys can see. Then you just kind of run your fingers along here and just try to get that to kind of stick. That'll, I don't know, just kind of holds it. And then, you know, you're going to get, I got a little wrinkle there, but, you know, I mean, it's it's not a big deal. It's it just, you know, you're, we're making a protection for the end of the, ends of the elevators, so it's this thing. If you can get a perfect, that's awesome. Sometimes you can't. This has kind of a, kind of a curve to it, so. And then back. And that's that's pretty much it. Well, I think I might try to you know try to clean this end up here a little bit. Let's see if I can't uh, unstick this. Maybe trim it up a bit. Actually, I'm just gonna try to try to get this little part right here. If I can just trim that. Just trying to trim up that little tag in there so I could just kind of flip this over and make sure that you know it can, can stick. Then on the end one here, I'm just gonna trim this just a just a hair just a hair long. That way the tape is, is all stuck down and it's not, you know, if you, if you don't have some of the tape kind of hanging over, it'll, it'll come undone. So I'll just trim that up with some scissors. And that's it. So I'll take you guys out to show you how it looks on the plane. So here's what it looks like on the plane. And as you can see, there's a little gap right up in here, and I'm thinking that maybe what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to try to just cut a little little spot out right in there, so maybe that can kind of slide on there a little bit better and see if that works. So hang tight, and I'll come right back after I cut that out. All right, so I got it to I got it cut out, and you can see that you know it kind of gets rid of some of that gap there, and uh, <clears throat> I just took some scissors and just cut a little. You can see I just cut a little, little, uh, I think it's better, just cut a little uh, half circle in there and it just slides right over and fits up nice and close. So that's it guys, that's that's how you do it. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how I'm doing the wing as well. It's, it's exactly the same process and uh, nothing, nothing super fancy. So, uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. All right. All right guys, we're back. Uh, we're getting ready to do the wing. Um, 
this is just gonna be sort of part two of this video. Uh, this is the Reflectix. This is what it is. This is what it looks like. And uh, like I said, you get this at Ace Hardware. Uh, I found it before in the insulation section, so uh, you can get it there. I've got a big roll. This is uh, 24 by 25, so we want something kind of wide for the wing, and, that, and that'll fit. I'm try to get this video over here so you guys can see a little better. So, you know, I can get to about this far up on the wing, and that should, you know, that'll, that'll be enough to cover it up. So, so alright, let's get started. I'll try to show you guys. I'm gonna try to start down here on this other side of the wing so you guys can see. That's a good angle, yeah. All right, so I'm basically gonna do just like I did on the other one. I'm just gonna lay some out there and then kind of, you know, me you know, measure it up just by eyeball and uh, see if that, you know, find out what the right length is and then just start marking with my sharpie and then uh, trimming it up. So, here we go. All right, here we go. So, this looks like about the right length here. Got the wing there. And then I'll just double that. So you can see how I'm doing that. I just kind of measured it and then I just folded it over so I'm just going to go, you know, back the other half. I'm going to keep my hand on it kind of right here just to double double check, let's double measure it to make sure we got it right, but I think that's, I think I'll be okay. Go about right there, go about here, all right, so then we just flip it over, all right, there is where we're going to want to cut it. Cut through right across here. Uh, what I kind of forgot to do in my last video was, you know, I mean, these obviously these wing, wings are symmetrical, so you just you don't even have to measure the other one. Just do the same thing and just do just just double this, and then you got it. So that's basically what I'm going to do here: is just cut out a second a second part. If we have enough, I think we will. So I'll know that my length is the same. And just cut along here. Yeah, this is the top flight, uh, as you probably can recognize, this is the top flight P51R. So, whatever that wingspan is on that, I know it's over 80 inches, 80, 83 or something like that. So, that's why well, you gotta have less, a lot of this stuff. I'll have some left over. And I can always, this stuff, this stuff comes in pretty handy, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Keep it around here in the shop for other projects. Sit tight, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Now we're gonna pick it up on. We're just gonna lay this stuff up here. I'm having a little trouble here. I've got my parts box for my baits over there, and it's kind of kind of in the way. So you can't get it better. You should get a little better angle here. All right, so I'm just taking my one, you know, my bigger sheet here. We're gonna have to fold it up underneath there, so we'll maybe a little bit tricky. We wanna make sure we're careful and not, you know, go bouncing our wing off the ground. That would be terrible and we'd have to waste much 
time fixing some things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this on for this plane. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this basically right here is where that little radiator part starts, and that's as far over as I'm gonna get it. That's as close. That's as far in as I want. So that'll be that'll be kind of the angle, kind of where I want. So that kind of holds that in place. So I'll just pull this other end around the top here. And I think I made it a little bit long, so that's okay. I'm just going to mark on this side. I'm going to cut it right here. And this stuff has lines in it, so you can. It kind of helps you cut it straight. So you can just, you know, trim right across there. Yeah, I, I just got this uh, top flight P fifty one put together, glued together, and uh, and uh, two weeks ago I did the maiden flight, or a friend of mine helped me do the maiden, and then uh, then we did the second flight that day, and I, I handed the box over, I flew it for a little bit, but I didn't uh, I didn't land it or take it off, and then uh, I went out last weekend, I and I I did the next two flights on it, and it, and it it flew really well. This plane flies really really nice. I have a shot. And like just how and how uh, how stable it is, and just how how really easy it is to, is to handle. And it's really like smooth on the landing stuff. It's a really light airplane too, so that that also helps. But uh, yeah, this top flight P fifty one man, it's too bad a top flight is going away because they make some really nice they make some nice stuff. I I hate to see them go, but you know that's I guess that's the way it's going to go. So all right, so now I got this on here. I think I might just take this down. Now what I'm going to do, this wing has you know, got a little bit of a taper, it's going to, it comes down this way. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to kind of, I need to make, to kind of scoot it back a little bit. I want to try to line it up along the front. You want to leave yourself a little bit of space on the end because you don't want to get them, you don't want to get them too, uh, too close and then it, the wing bag is too tight to get in there and it's, it doesn't work that well. So. So I'm gonna kind of angle this in the front here. Yeah, so it's I can live with that. That's where I want that part. So that'll be good. Now I'm gonna go over here and kind of feel where the end of the wing is. Then I'm gonna come out here and just kind of kind of guess and sort of draw my line to go up this way. And I can kind of feel along the way. This is gonna be kind of way long for starters. But that's fine because, you know, I can always take more off. I can't put more back on, and I don't want to. This stuff, you know, this stuff's like twenty-seven dollars for a roll for the big roll like this, so you can do a big wing. It's like, you know, I, I don't really want to have to spend more money on this just because I didn't bother to measure it. So, so now I'm just gonna take it off, line those two ends up, and then I'm gonna cut, you know, cut the angle, cut the angle that's coming across here, just for the wing. And these are my crappy scissors, so it cuts better from this angle, so let's cut it back this way. And this way you can kind of hold it so that the reflective stuff doesn't kind of slip around. I'm just making a rough cut, and this doesn't have to be, you can cut this as super straight or as, yeah, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be super straight. You know, it's it just needs to be kind of roughed in. Is really all it all it needs. So, I'm gonna try to make this a little more. Just kind of takes that weird kind of angle off of there. It's a little wide, a little more than I want, so I'm just trying to get it lined up to see, to 
make sure I can get it kind of where I want it. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of line it up here on this first part, on the, on the leading edge, about where it, where it should be. And hold it in place with this honey wax. Now I'm going to go along the bottom and kind of draw, draw a line here to where I think I should trim it to. And then this one will be much closer than the other one. But I'm still leaving about two inches, approximately two inches away from the end of the, you know, the flaps and the ailerons. That way, because when you put the tape on there, like I said, you want to make sure you have some, have some space. So, now I've got that line on there. Now I'm going to, I'm going to trim it, but I'm going to trim it kind of conservatively to leave myself some some room there. I don't want to. I don't want to get it too close. So I'm going to try to just. I'm going to cut about an inch away from my line, and then kind of see where where I think it looks. Like if it's going to fit or not. So. I think that's going to be it. So, so as you can see, they basically got like the little angle. If you guys can see that that well, but it's kind of shaped sort of towards the wing. You know, I mean, it's, it's just, you just like I said, you want to leave a little bit of space so you can, so you can uh, get it on and off. Because you make it, if you make it too thin or too narrow, you put the tape on there, you're not going to be able to get over your control horns. If your control horns, control horns stick out like they do on this, it'll, it'll scrape against them. You don't want to tear those off or anything. So. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do now is just do the exact, take this template, lay it on top of the other one, <laughs> cut off the exact same, exact same angle, which will only take me once, and then uh, I'll come back and show you guys the taping part of it, and then uh, that's, that's how we'll do it, so stand by. Hey, one thing I'll show, thing I'll show you guys is um, this is where I've, I took the, I took my other sheet, and I laid the, I laid the one that I cut down on top of it. I lined up the top edge because it was straight, and then I just took my, I folded it in half. Well, they're obviously they're folded in half. I just took my my uh, my marker and just marked down along the edge. And that's part of the tailing edge, and then this came across the top here. So that's where I'm going to cut. So basically, I just you know drew myself a, a template. That's what I was talking about before. So I so we'll show you that. And then we will, when I come back, then we'll then we'll go to the taping part. All right, we're back, guys. So uh, we're going to start off with. Uh, the Gorilla Tape we talked about in the beginning, and we're just going to tape. I'm going to start off by taping the the front edge of this, which is the straight edge. So that'll that'll we'll do that first, kind of get everything tacked down, and then we'll tackle the the other edge that has the, the curve in it. That might that might take a couple of pieces of tape of it, but we'll see when we get there. So I'm just going to kind of measure it out. You want to have a little bit hanging over, not a whole bunch, but some. I gotta find my razor. Here we go. I like to cut this stuff with the razor. Scissors doesn't cut it too well, so just cut it with a the razor. There we go. So at least on this part, it doesn't. So. I'm gonna try to lay this on here about halfway. I'm try to do about halfway. Got that, and I'm just gonna kind of push that down, make sure it's kind of on there pretty good. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna flip him over. And 
now we'll just try to, I think I'm going to start here in the middle and then just work my way to the edges. Just kind of get them tacked and then you can kind of go back and, I mean this is, easy, this is a lot easier with the, the straight side of the wing. Now when you get to the other side, we may have, with that curve, we may have to do a couple of pieces of tape, but you know, you just get it on there and just kind of press the stuff down. It's super, this is super easy. And like I said, this <coughs> this real tape holds real well too. So, so now I'm just going to kind of go back over and just make sure it's kind of taped down really good. So once you get this stuff stuck, it's, it'll stay stuck pretty well. And like I said, you'll have to, you know, on occasion you'll have to come back over your to the part where it's on the reflectix and kind of kind of push it back down. But once you do that a few times, it'll it'll stay on there. All right, so then I'm just gonna take some scissors here on the end. I'm gonna take my razor. There's a little. Just leave a little bit of extra on the end. And I suppose if it gets, if it starts to come loose, you could probably just take a piece of tape and put it over, over that, and that would take care of it too. So whatever you feel like, now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And this is what I'm talking about, having like a little, just a little piece kind of hanging over on the end so you can kind of squish it down and have the tape you know, kind of lock it in. So. All right, now we'll move on to the curved part of the wing. Now I can see that I got a little bit of a, right here, it's not, they're not perfectly even, so I'm going to try to trim that up a little bit. Let's see how well this works out. I'm going to try it with the razor first. I don't know if that's the greatest idea or not, but we'll see. Well, I guess that did work out alright. Now yeah, I'll just trim it up with the scissors too. If they're out, it's not going to work. Yeah, so if they're even, it'll just, it'll, it'll just, uh, the tape will just be here a little bit better. So, so that's pretty trimmed up now. So that's good. That's good enough. All right. Flip over. Grab our Gorilla Tape. I think what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna do the, the, this angle first, and then I'm gonna cap that little end there. So let's, so let's try that. Just about the same way, about halfway down the tape. You just want to make sure you have plenty of tape on both sides. That's the most important part. It looks like I do, so we're going to go there. Now, come back over on this side. I think I'll start in the middle again. I think that works out pretty good. So right there. There. 
There we go. And that worked out good. Now I'll come back, just kind of go down the center, the seam of it across the top here. Alright, that is done. So, trim off the end and we'll leave a little, a little bit extra. Now we'll just finish up the last part here. This little down here so you can see it. Now we'll just finish up that little section there. If I if I could, you know, I like to do these all with all one piece of tape, but some of your some of your curves you just can't do that on my Corsair wing. I had a did the it, it, the back side of that wing was you know reasonably curved as well, so I had you know you have to use a couple different pieces of tape. But you can just take your time and, and you know overlay them and and this stuff sticks really good, so it's it's not a big deal if you have to do two pieces of tape or four more. But I'm just going to go with this right here. Make sure this is in the camera so you guys can see. Just for a moment. All right, and then I'll just clip off, clip off the end with a little extra. Make sure that's all taped up, and and that's it. So that's uh, that's really all there is to it, guys. Just get this back so you guys can see. So now I've got a a wing bag. And this and these I find these to help with uh, with uh, hanger rash, you know, a lot. Um, I just put made those ones. You know, we saw we did the elevator or the horizontal stabilizers one earlier earlier in the video, and I went out flying, you know, in the morning, and of course on the way out, bang my, you know, bang goes on the on the door, you know, lightly, but that little bag was there, so it, it kind of absor helped absorb the shock. So I found these to be pretty uh, pretty easy to make and pretty inexpensive, and they they tend to they seem to work pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Later.